All right, let's do some methody math. Here we go. It says find the points of intersection for the equation. So we have f of x is negative 27x squared plus 4x plus 1, and g of x is negative 28x squared plus 14x minus 15. Okay, so what's happening here? They're saying over here we have a quadratic, because you can tell by the uh, exponent, and that makes a parabola. And over here we have a quadratic, and that makes a parabola. And we have these two parabolas, and they're happening at the same time, and they're going to cross. That's what the points of intersection is. So we're saying, well, where do they cross? And that's all we're trying to figure out. Essentially, this is saying, where do the parabolas cross? So the idea here is that, remember, when a parabola crosses at that point of intersection, at that point of crossing, they're actually the same. And when something is the same, we call it equal. So that's our first step. We're going to set these uh, functions equal to each other. So I say negative 27x squared plus 4x plus 1 is negative 28x squared plus 14x minus 15. Okay, and I'm going to move everything left here because when we deal with quadratics, we like to be in standard form. So moving left here, the first move is I add 28x squared to both sides. So I add 28x squared to both sides, right? And that will make that cancel, and we'll resolve that in a second. To, make, to get rid of this, I subtract 14x from both sides. And then we'll do that in a second. And then here I add 15 to both sides, OK? So if we do this, these would all cancel and leave 0 over here. But let's do this. So what is negative 27x squared plus 20x squared? Well, that is just a 1x squared. We can put the 1 there if you want. OK, so that's 1. Ugh, there you go. 1x squared. Sure. Uh, 4x minus uh, 14x is negative. 10x, and uh, 1 plus 15 is 16. And we these all canceled into 0, so now, voila, there you go. Okay, so the first thing we do here is we take a times c, well that gives us 16. I like to draw this little diagram right here. And then we use our b value, negative 10. And the question we ask ourselves here is, well, what are the factors of 16 uh, that when added together give me negative 10. And that might throw you for a loop at first because it seems odd to have a positive that somehow adds into a negative. But when you think about the rules of multiplication, this actually makes uh, perfect sense and it should not be a problem. So you watch. Factors of 16. Uh, you could say 1 and 16. But if you added those together, it would be a positive number. That doesn't help us. But if you think about it, negative 1 times negative 16 also multiplies to become 16 because a negative times a negative is a positive. So if I added these together, negative 1 plus negative 16 is negative 17. See, we do can get a negative number. So let's keep doing this. Well, what about negative 2, negative 8? Negative 2 times negative 8 is 16, and negative 2 plus negative 8 is negative 10. Voila, there you go. You have your two factors. Now you can go through go through a, a more complex process to to uh, use these, but essentially you can always remember if and only if your a value is one, you do not have to do the factoring process. You can just use these values. So because my a is one, it's our lucky day. We can just write it like this: x minus two and x minus eight equals zero. Okay? And, and let me draw like a little sidebar here to show you what, what I just did without all the factoring. If you did go through the entire uh, factoring process, <clears throat> what would happen here is you would take these values to rewrite b. So you'd rewrite it like this. You'd say, well, you know what, I know that x squared minus 2x minus 8x plus 16 is zero. And you can see I just rewrote my b value of negative 10 as negative 2 minus 8, right? So negative 2x minus 8x is negative 10x. This is the same thing. Okay, then I would do my grouping, which is just math uh, talk for adding some parentheses in this case. So I just added some parentheses, okay? That creates two binomials. Then I factor my binomials. Uh, the only thing these two terms have in common is an x. So I get x minus 2. And looking here, I can take out a negative 8. And then I would get negative 8 divided by negative 8 is 
uh, x, and 16 divided by negative 8 is negative 2. And there you go. You can see here, I have x minus 2 and I have x minus 2, then this type of problem, that means we're on the right track. So then I take what's outside, which is x minus 8, that's my first binomial, and I take what's inside, and you can see it's x minus 2, so I just take 1 x minus 2, and that, that would be if you did the complete process. That's fine if you want to do that, but just remember, you can circumvent that whole process, because that's it's exactly what we got here, by just understanding that when my a value is 1, when my a value is 1, I can just take out those two factors and write it directly like this. Okay? So here we go. Uh, using the zero product property, I can say, well, x minus 2 is 0, therefore x is 2, and x minus 8 is 0, therefore x is positive 8. So these are actually the x coordinates of my solution. I'm, I'm trying to find those coordinates where my parabolas cross, and these are the x value. So if I was going to write my final answer here, I know that 1 is going to be at 2 and the other is going to be at 8. And now our job here is to try and find those y coordinates and we have the x's. So we think about this, you know, x's are no, also known as the uh, inputs, right? It's what we put in. So we're, basically what we want to do is we want to input 2 into these functions, see what we get. Then we want to input 8 into those functions and see what we get. And that will give us our y values. So if you wrote this out, it would be like saying f of, ne uh, po excuse me, positive 2, f of 2 is negative 27, 2 times 2 squared plus 4 times 2 plus 1. And I really do encourage you guys to substitute those in or input those in with parentheses because then you can actually just put that all directly into your calculator and get that answer. So this is uh, f of 2, and then we can do g of 2, same idea, negative 28, put in the 2 squared, plus 14, 2 minus 15. Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to use my calculator and put this in. Negative 27 parentheses, 2 squared, right, that's that, plus 4 close parentheses, 2 plus 1, and hit enter. And I get uh, f of 2 should be negative. 99. So if all goes to plan, this one should also tell me it's negative 99 because we're trying to find out where they're the same. So let's try it. Negative 28, 2 squared plus 14, 2 minus 15. Boom! It worked. Whew. What a sigh of relief that is. So we know that when we input 2, uh, negative 99 is our output. Okay, I'm going to draw a line here. I'm going to set it all up one more time uh, for inputting 8. So it's the same idea, but now it's f of 8. f of 8 is negative 27. I input the 8 squared plus 4. Input the 8 plus 1. And my result of f of 8, I'll put right there when I get it. g of 8, same thing, negative 28. 8 plus, what's that, 14, 8 minus 15, so g of 8 would be right there. Let me just go down a little bit just to frame us up a little better. Alrighty. Okay, so again, let me just put these in the calculator. Now you could just scroll up and uh, try to replace your numbers, but I'll just type them in just to make sure I'm doing a good job. So negative 27, 8 squared plus 4, 8, just copying what I wrote. I hit 1, I hit enter, I hit, whoa, negative, 1,695. Okay, so hopefully I'll get a negative 1,695. Here we go. Negative 28 parentheses, 8 squared, plus 14 parentheses, 8 minus 15. Ooh, boy, that's minus 5 minus 15. Here we go. Ha ha, look at that. That is a good feeling. I was a bit nervous. Okay. So our second intersection, point of intersection, is at negative 1,695. And there you go. Those are your answers. That's where your two parabolas intersect, okay? All right. Uh, if you have any questions or, or need some clarification, please leave a comment below. And, oh, yeah. Uh, go ahead, subscribe if you want to be notified when I make some more math problems just for you. Okay, thank you. Bye.